This year, communities across England are embracing new technologies to make a positive difference in their lives. From carers in the New Forest... In a prison, if you were in a, a cell on your own, you would be less isolated than you are when you're caring for somebody with Alzheimer's. To refugees in Oxford... If people could see the pain that a refugee feels, then maybe they would treat them differently. And homeless people in Bradford... Life's not over. You can, you can start again if you want. It's not too late. You can turn your life around if you want to. They're all using creative digital media to bring their communities together. This community radio station is all about you. People like you contribute to the programmes with what you're going to do this afternoon. It's about us all getting together and making local content. This is a first, and uh, you people are part of a first. Media Trust's Community Voices project gives groups across England a chance to make their voice heard through digital media, with funding, volunteers, resources and training. Hello and welcome, and thank you for joining me again. You are listening to Vintage Radio, the grown-up choice, world's award-winning station for the over 50s. In Merseyside, older people are staying active in retirement by running their own internet radio station. I'm Alwyn Hind and I got involved with Vintage Radio through an article in our freebie magazine in our paper. I'm widowed and I had this, um, I won't say a little gap in my life, but I'm always one for doing something new and looking for something which is taxing and give me a little bit of stuff to stretch my knowledge and something which I thought I'd never ever do and I've learnt so much, and I've met some lovely, interesting people. So, um, it's really good. And of course, we have the social side as well. We all meet up and we have our little social. You need new challenges in your life. Okay, most of us have spent all our working lives devoted to what we've done. Uh, and then you come to a brick wall, and really, Longevity depends on climbing over that brick wall and seeing what's on the other side. In Ipswich, young people are speaking out and challenging perceptions. My name's Ryan Jay and I'm 16 years old. IP3 is the Gainsborough, Ravenswood and Pro Heath area of Ipswich. That's meant to be one of the deprived areas in England. IP3 is a bad reputation because like People think the young people are bad. Not a lot of people work around this area and that's just got that perception of you're not going to work and you're just going to be sitting around doing nothing. Club for Teens is a um, youth group that's on every Monday and um, I set up with my friend Sasha because there was nothing to do in the area. Tilt it upwards and then we can see that house is... We're making a film to promote young people. So we want to show them that they actually are an asset to the community. So that's, they're actually good, not bad. The cameras that we've got are really easy to use. We didn't want to get anything too high tech because then the young people wouldn't know how to use it properly. So we just got some easy cameras that you just switch them on and then there's one button to record, one button to stop. Start off over here. When the film's finished, we're going to send a copy to all the other libraries in Suffolk, um, all the schools in Suffolk, so we can just like promote the area to just show other people how good it is. And in Croydon, the Community Voices Project means people with learning disabilities are gaining valuable skills. It's like a training um, group and it helps you build up your confidence and it helps you develop skills and knowledge that you already have but to work properly with others and do events and festivals and learn to work as a team. It's very important to me because it gets me out. Before I wasn't going to do half what I'm doing now. The media team is part of Club Soda, taking pictures and videoing. It's so wonderful to watch how passionately thirsty they are for, for the opportunity to work on all of the media projects that we, we do. This year, we were offered an amazing opportunity to have our next club event at the Croydon Summer Festival in our own tent. And of course, the committee just, just, just chomped at that chance. My life would be pretty boring without Club Soda. Inspirational stories from communities across the country, all changing lives through digital media. 
It's been them. lovely listening to all your memories. Have you enjoyed our afternoon? Thoroughly. Have I've you? enjoyed every minute. Yes, it was great. It gave you the feeling of belonging, a part of the community, part of the world, and not being old. Thank you very much, Joyce.